Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Our tutorial for today is Keyhole Ripple. And to start with, we're gonna use a 3.5 mm crochet hook, a pair of scissor, and our yarn, a milk cotton yarn. We have to start with chain multiple of 10 plus 3. So we have to start with the slip knot. So this is a chain multiple of 10, 30 chain plus 3. One, two, and three. And then, for our foundation row, one double crochet in four chain from hook. So, one, two, three, and four. Here, one double crochet here. And next to it is one double crochet in each of next three chain. So we start here. One, two, and three. Okay, so this is how it look like. Next is we skip the next two chain and one double crochet in each of next four chain. So we're going to skip this next two, one, two, and then start one double crochet here and continue to the next three chain. Okay, this is the second, third, and fourth. Okay. Next is chain two. One, two, and one double crochet in each of the next four chain. So one, two, and three four okay like this next is skip the next two chain and make one double crochet in each of the next four chain one three and four then chain two one two and make one double crochet in each of the next four chain one three and four next skip the next two chain so this is the last batch okay one double crochet in the next chain So now we are on the second to the last chain. Okay. Make two double crochet in the same chain. Okay. One and one more double crochet in the same chain. 
and make one double crochet in the last chain okay one double crochet in the last chain like this so this is how we end up our foundation row next is row one to start with row one chain three one two and three turn your work and then skip the first double crochet in the next double crochet make two double crochet okay then two more double crochet in the next two chain like this next is skip the next two chain one and two and make double crochet in the next chain okay second third double crochet and one double crochet on the first chain of chain two so this is our first second chain two so make one double crochet in the next chain one space okay quite tricky okay next is chain two space one two and make first double crochet in the next chain two space in the second chain okay like this and next is three double crochet in the next three chain one two three four okay. one two three sorry Okay. One, two, three, four. Next is skip the next two chain one and two, and make three, uh, four double crochet in the next four chain. One double crochet, one chain. Second, third, and then. One double crochet on the first chain of chain two space. Okay, one double crochet in the first uh, on the chain one space here. Okay, okay. next is chain two, chain two space, and make double crochet on the next. On the second chain to space double crochet three more double crochet for this cluster like this next is skip the next two chain and make double crochet in the next chain okay one more double crochet and then two double crochet to the second to the last chain okay two double crochet in the in the same chain 
and one double crochet on the turning top of the last double crochet like this so this is how it look like our foundation row and chain one just repeat row one for pattern to this until you reach your desired length or measurement I repeat this is chain multiple of 10 plus 3 you can adjust your measurement until you reach your own desired length I add two more rows for you to see the texture again chain 3 then turn your work Okay, skip the first double crochet and make two double crochet in the next chain. Okay, and two more double crochet. Okay. And then skip the next two chain and make double crochet in the next chain like this and again one double crochet on the first chain of chain two space Next to it is chain two, one, two, and again double crochet on the second chain of the chain two space. Make another cluster of double crochet. I call this as cluster for double crochet I consider this a cluster next is skip the next two chain one two and make double crochet in the next chain to start in a, one more another more cluster and then okay and one more double crochet in the first chain of chain two space okay chain two one double crochet in the next chain two space like that and and start a new cluster okay skip the next two chain and make double crochet in the next chain double crochet in the next chain and two double crochet on the second to the last chain and for the last turning chain uh, one double one last double crochet on the top of the turning chain like this okay one more one more row chain three two and three and turn your work ok 
lagi skip the first chain and make two double crochet in the next chain okay and skip the next two chain one two make double crochet in the next chain to form another cluster second third and and make one double crochet on the first chain of chain two space okay like this chain two then one double crochet and then next on the second chain two space And start another cluster of double crochet second third and fourth double crochet then skip the next two chain one two make double crochet in the next chain now we are doing the next set of I mean the next cluster again one double crochet in the first chain of chain two space chain two again one double crochet in the next chain to space okay now we are doing on the last cluster Skip the next two chain one two okay two double crochet on the second to the last chain and on the turning top one double crochet on the last uh, chain or the turning chain so this is how it look like our keyhole recall again I repeat this is how we do a keyhole recall chain a multiple of 10 plus 3 foundation row and then row 1 and repeat row one for pattern until you reach your own desired length of measurement. Again, thank you for watching. See you on my next video.